Did you hear that? Will that drive you nuts? It's going to drive me nuts, okay? So I just happen to be loaded for bear, for squeaks. Okay, check this out. These rotten little things have not been taken out of there in, I'd say, probably 40 years. So they just are, they're corroded. They're, they're stuck in there tight. They're binding, and they're making that nasty sound. There's two of them. I usually do them both at the same time, even if there's three of them, because you can bet if one of them's squeaking, the other ones are going to start soon. It's just the way they are. So check this out. This would be multi-use silicone spray. Great stuff for hinge problems. WD-40, you use this stuff if they're corroded. Not just as the lubricant. You need an, a lubricant on top of this, because this stuff evaporates. Three-in-one oil, just in case. And a tube of graphite. I don't know if you remember doing this in, in high school, but remember like if your locker, if the padlock got kind of stiff, you just take a pencil and you scrape it on the edge of the padlock and it goes into the working mechanism and it makes it work easier. So you can get your stuff faster, which you were never really in a hurry to do. So many people probably never did put graphite into their locker padlocks. I was always in a hurry to get to my classes because I was that kind of a student. Okay, so I'm probably going to be wanting to use this, but before I do that, I have to get this hinge pin out. So, what am I going to use first? I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to use these, and I'll tell you why. Paint will fly, because that's the kind of girl I am. This is my utility knife. I'm going to use this to scrape off the, the paint, which is all adhered to the top of this. See, these pins, they can be really pesky to get out, even when they're not painted in. Oh yeah, this is going to be ugly. Can you see that? I mean, there's not even a hint of there being a pin under there. Oh, it's my lucky day, really. Because it lets me use all my tools and implements that so rarely get a chance to be used. OK, so what I'm starting to see here is that there's the head of the pin right there, and there, the crease between the, the top part of the hinge and the pin itself is filled with paint. So at this point, I'm going to see if luck is on my side. I'm going to get my slightly hacked up but really big screwdriver. And I'm going to get my hammer, which I keep nicely tucked in my back loop. And I'm going to see if this will come loose at all. And I think the answer to that is a big fat no. So I got to work the way at it a little bit further with the paint, uh, the knife. You know, <laughs> my mom always said, if you put something away in the same place every time, it's always easier to find it. <laughs> I'm finding that rule really hard to follow. Okay. I'm working at the paint. Okay, I got a bit more of it off here. So, maybe if I whack it on the bottom. Okay, I'm putting the knife in the left pocket. Let's see if we can remember that. Not a chance. All right, well, I'll try once more with the screwdriver. a hitting nail and I'm going to try putting it in the bottom of the hinge pin itself and whacking on it. I can see if I'm chipping away this paint it gives me a little bit better grip. Not budging it, really. <laughs> but it's good to know that we have options, even when they don't work. OK, so 
Okay, I know. I've got this handy piece of chalk. Since the nail is slipping off the bottom, I'm going to rub the bottom of the, the tip of the nail head with chalk. You know, the beauty of these things is they really protect your eyes, so you can't see a darn thing through them. So you, you might want to put them on an attractive macrame rope so that you can pull them off and put them on in a hurry. I favor macrame for all of my glasses needs. Okay, they're back. My chalk, my nail. Kind of chalk it up like you would a pool cue. And maybe it'll grip a little better. We have ignition. Huh? Now I can get a screwdriver in there. Good trick, eh? That chalk thing really works. All right, so I think I'm even going to use my really big pry bar. Never mind the screwdriver. I think I'm going to go at it with the old pry bar. Less aiming. Oh, now don't be gouging the door. I'm going back to the screwdriver now. You know, you just keep trying things till something works. And I'm going to have to keep working my way around this thing because who knows how it's um, locked into that hinge. I can't get it with my fingers yet. It's still too tight. There you go. Okay, so. All right, this, this hinge pin is a bit different from most hinge pins. Most of them have um, a pattern stamped in the top. It's a diagonal stamp in the metal. And that is like little teeth that really set the hinge pin. This one's actually not, I don't know why it was so stuck, except that although it looks fairly shiny, there's a lot of um, kind of scummy black corrosion. So I'm going to Take a little bit of steel wool and polish this up and then oil it. That is new almost. And so which of these should I choose? The multi-use silicone lubricant? Bit over the top. The WD-40? Don't need it because there's no real serious rust or corrosion. I'm just going to go for the old three-in-one, my favorite. Pop off the little red top. Pop it up, I mean. And then now. You know, you don't need to go nuts putting this stuff on. Just a couple of drops will do it. Because otherwise it'll be, you know, squirting out of the hinge for months to come. There we go. Now, the door has settled off the hinge a little bit, so I need to use my pry bar just to get it lined up again. This hinge has got problems. It's not seated in the wood very well. I might even need to... Oh, yeah, there. That's, that fixed it. <laughs> I'll be right with you. I just have to obviously use the force. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to see... Sometimes if, if the hinges look like this, you can, by hammering the top of the hinge pin, you can kind of talk the hinge into aligning. Like, just like it did just then. Okay, wait, I gotta get that up there again. There we go. You see, I'm, I'm left-handed, so this is even more awkward than it looks. Okay, that worked. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm just going to keep working, you know, because this is what you have to do. Okay, so let me try. There's two things I can try. One is wedging the door over with my Wonder Bar. Which might help. Okay, I'm going to try something else, which is 
opening the door a little bit, and then see how easy that made it? Just lifting the door onto its hinges. Yeah, that made it really easy. Okay, just a sec. Okay, lifting. Okay, once you got it in a little bit of the way, you're home free, and you can take the hammer out of your mouth and use it the way God intended it to be used. And now, the moment of truth. <clears throat> Now, it could be the bottom hinge, so if this squeaks, don't be all dis disappointed. <laughs> okay? It's, it's that easy. It's, uh, it's not hard. It's just awkward, really. It, it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's just darn awkward. Okay. tough day of home repair. I just love to get a bowl of chips and sit back on my couch and do a bit of yoga. Yoga is renowned for its meditative benefits. Let me show you what I like to do. First of all, I grab the backside hem of my robe because <clears throat> it's more demure that way. And then I seat myself on the couch, grab my right heel, and place it behind my head like this. Then, I reach up and I put my other heel just behind that foot. <laughs> there. And once I'm here, I can stay here for, well, for quite a while. There we are. It's actually quite relaxing and invigorating at the same time. <laughs> See? The only, the only thing is you, you should remember to leave your snack food close by because... Once you're here, you're kind of stuck unless you, you're near a phone, for example, and you could call for, for a backup. But that's why, oh, that's why practicing yoga a lot develops character. Because if you just keep working at it, you can get to the snack food. <laughs> 